Uh, Tanika. Huh? Such and such say y'all go together. Is that true? I'm like, oh no. I it had to be 10 o'clock. You gotta go home, go to sleep. We had to be back up at what, five in the morning? To get back to school. At seven. Bell rung at 7.14. About 9.30, why is somebody asking me, do we go together? You know what I'm saying? Like, what? I, I specifically. She's both. Everybody knew. How the whole school know? What did you do? Hey, Eddie. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was fucking with this virgin ass bitch. Wait, let me talk my shit. Let me tell you about this bitch. See? What's up, y'all? It's your girl Nigi the host, and today I'm back with another mukbang and a story time. Uh I'm of course I'm gonna cook because um I definitely I definitely gotta cook because I don't wanna eat. Let me tell y'all what happened. Long story short, I ain't put out that many videos yesterday because I was constipated. I'm just telling you the truth. I ain't been knowing my body right. You get what I'm saying? You stress for a little bit, start eating like a damn gorilla, bam, you turn into one. You get what I'm saying? It's just, it's just, it's ridiculous. But uh, you gonna hear people in the background because they cutting grass and shit. They actually been doing that since about nine o'clock this morning. It's six. It's six o'clock in the afternoon. What the fuck? But anyway. Baked potato, some uh, uh, what's these things called? Salmon patties, and some um, salad, and sweet baked potato. What's up y'all, it's your girl Nick G the host and today we back with another mukbang. I have, it is supposed to be a salmon cake. Uh, you know, a little salad and some um, sweet potato. You know what I'm saying, with some avocado vinaigrette. You know, today, let me just say this. Yesterday, I ate Alfredo Wingstop. Biggest mistake of my life. On top of eating terrible for the past like month, y'all don't even understand. I I, I don't want to eat nah, nothing else bad. But anyway, let's get to the video. So, shout and expose me, right? All right, so boom. First of all, some of y'all got that video misconstrued. I'm not bisexual. I'm not bisexual anymore, rather. I was in high school. Damo made me realize I was bisexual in high school. That's all I'm saying. But um, I love me a good woman. You hear me? Love me some Jay. And I love me some John. And I love me some Tata's. All right? Hmm. Hold oh. on. <sighs> Ain't nothing like a fine ass woman. But anyway, shouted that exposed me. <sighs> so. Obviously, we were going to high school together. And I ain't gonna lie, around that time, I was messing with a lot of girls. I was being a little thought. And uh, several girls from the cheerleading squad, I was having issues with like, going in the locker room, girls thinking I'm looking at them and shit. I had to deal with some shit. When I really wasn't. It was the cheerleader girls. Don't nobody want you hoes. And if y'all watching today, didn't nobody want you hoes. I dead ass didn't want neither one of y'all. The varsity cheerleaders. They were the ones I had the issue with. I was on JV. Uh till I was till I became a junior. I was a high head child. <laughs> yeah, for all the reasons in the world I should have been on JV, okay? I was a terrible child. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, this class came in. I was in the class of, I'm not gonna tell y'all. Um, you know, they knew. New faces, new, new everything. So, I'm like, most of y'all fine. I ended up talking to at least four of them. At least four of them. Two cheerleaders, two other girls. 
that did some type of sport. But they all was fine. And um, one day we out, out of, uh, you know, went to a away game. And nothing like a away game. We played basketball. That was the best time of the year. Go away. Get the hell away from your school. Seemed like it was a long ass bus ride. Probably just went up the street. Yeah. And one of the girls started, you know, messing with me and shit. It was obvious she was flirting. And I'm like, bro, at this time I was not openly gay. So I used to wear like basketball shorts, sweatpants, Jordans. I did have my hair down, but a ponytail was an exception, you know what I'm saying? Uh, to be considered like a baby stud, I guess. So she flirting with me and shit. And you know, I'm flirting back, you know what I'm saying? No, my thing, cause at the time, you know, I was a little player. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I had, I had to be talking to like five girls. I ain't gonna lie. But they all was on the low. They all was on the low, and I was on the low. They was on the low, especially because I was on the low. You know what I'm saying? It was like, if you asked me was I gay, I'd be like, nigga, get on my face. But then I'd be going in the locker room, kissing girls and shit. I was living a double life, it's bad. <laughs> but anyway, so we doing what we do, you know what I'm saying? I'm playing my little basketball and shit, you know, doing my game. Um, and it's time to go home. So, we on the activity bus or whatever. We in the back. Child, we started kissing and shit. All over each other. And for some reason, she wanted to go with me. Like that night, I wanna be your girl. I'm like, okay, go. Cool. You know? I guess I, I, I'm going to have a girlfriend or whatever. Now, was she my first girlfriend ever? No. She was my second. No, she wasn't. On down the line, she was one of them girlfriends. But that remember that night? We kissing this shit on the activity bus. Nobody seen us, bro. It's dark. Nobody seen us. And I specifically told her that night, don't tell nobody. I was very clear with that. You know something about women though. They think you trying to hide them and shit. But you had me for life. Girl, ain't nobody trying to hide you. I just, you know, I don't need to be real. I can't, uh -uh. I can, we can't be telling people we go together and shit. You know what I am? Mean? I'm, I'm messing with this nigga. You know what I'm saying? My people don't know. I don't need everybody all in my business. You know what I am? Mean? Okay, <laughs> I got you. I won't say anything. I'm like, bet. I'll see you tomorrow, you know what I mean? We got off the bus, we out. Get to school the exact next day. Uh, Tanika, huh? Such and such say y'all go together, is that true? I'm like, oh no. I it had to be 10 o'clock. You gotta go home, go to sleep. We had to be back up at what, five in the morning? To get back to school. At seven. Bell rung at 7.14. About 9.30, why is somebody asking me, do we go together? You know what I'm saying? Like, what? I, I specifically told you not to say nothing. I don't know why I ain't texting. Like, I was in and out of having a phone because I was bad, you know what I'm saying? My daddy had gave me a phone, bought me a phone, broke it. <laughs> bought me a phone again, broke it, because I was just bad. This was actually around the time I got caught with another chick at my granny house. And I know all this shit may sound like it's fake, but it's real as fuck, like dead ass. I didn't have a phone because my daddy broke it. Because he caught me, you know what I'm saying? He didn't catch me, my grandma caught me and she, Listen, if you want that story time, put hell yeah down in the comment. I got you, B. But yeah, so 9.30, I'm getting questions. Like niggas working for the CIA or something. What? 
Oh, so y'all go together? Remember, I was talking to other girls and shit. You know what I'm saying? But they didn't want to be out in the first place. So it was almost like it was cool. They was like, right, whatever. I guess y'all go together. You know. I'll see her later that day. Because we got practice. I got practice. She got practice. I'm in the coach office. She come in the coach office. I'm like, did you tell people we go together? I think we had a game that night. Or, no, because we just had a game. It was practice. I'm like, did you tell everybody we go together? <laughs> and she was like, yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm like the audacity of you. Bro, she had no remorse, no care, no nothing. She said, I sure did. She wasn't no hood girl or nothing. But she was like, uh-huh, I sure did. I was like, I told you not to. I specifically told you not to last night. You know, only about 12 hours ago. She like, well, pretty much like I ain't trying to hide nothing in, in other words. That's how it came out. So now word is traveling around the school, y'all. Because everybody already think I'm gay, right? I was that girl. I think she gay, but I don't really know. So as soon as they heard that news, ding, ding, ding. Oh, shit, she gay. I told y'all she was gay. You know what I'm saying? Everything started sparking up. And I'm like, <laughs> damn. My people start finding out and shit. You know what I'm saying? Remember, we got a neighborhood full of people we was cool with. You know what I'm saying? They finding out friends, my the girl friends that I was close to, who, you know what I'm saying, wasn't masculine and all that. They asking me questions, questions and shit. Like she just she really stirred up a big ass mess for me. I ain't even gonna lie to you. She just exposed my life. She did me dirty. But um I had to eventually, you know, just tell them like, yeah. We had a whole fucking intervention. That's another story, though. We had a whole intervention. That's definitely another story. I'm not telling y'all that on this video. Uh, I'm just trying to keep a storyline with what I'm doing. So, i just like for y'all to say hell yeah in the comments because it look good to see that y'all are interested in my life. You know what I'm saying? So, we're going to keep with the hell yeah. So, put hell yeah in the comments if you want to see more. But, um... She's bold. Everybody knew. How the whole school know? What did you do? Now, Facebook and MySpace <clears throat> was popular at that time. <clears throat> but I wasn't on the internet like that because my mama didn't want me to be on the internet like that because I was too damn bad. You know what I'm saying? So I had to sneak. But I almost feel like I don't know how the whole school found out. I guess since since I was such a mystery and I would never claim the shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can ask me all you want, but I ain't got to tell you the truth. You know what I'm saying? I just felt like I don't owe you shit, so I ain't got to tell you. You know what I'm saying? Plus, I'm talking to this dude. I'm talking to these girls. Lord, I'm fat. What? Just a little fat. But you ain't got the snitch on me. She did me dirty, y'all. So, long story short, I mean, we stayed together for a little while, you know what I'm saying? But she ended up getting a boyfriend and that went away, you know what I'm saying? But I had to live the rest of my life being exposed by her. Um, When I became older, well, when we became older, we had did a couple things again, you know what I'm saying? But that was it. We was done after that. I'm talking about before her, I used to be in the locker room getting it in with girls. You and me. That's another story time. It's got it's three of them right now you can choose from. So whatever y'all ask for the most, I get to you. But um, um, I used to get it in. You know? So I don't know, y'all. This is almost to be continued because. It's so much that happened after she exposed me. You know what I'm saying? There's so much that happened after that. With my my people. Uh, that ex. My ex, the guy I was talking to. Remember when I told you his heart was hurt? I was lying to his ass. Everybody like, yo, 
Your girl gay, your girl gay. He's like, man, no, she not. Are you? You not, right? I'm like, uh-uh, uh-uh, I'm not, uh-uh, hell no. <laughs> My line, man. And he was defending me. But once again, that's another story time, you know what I'm saying? Point is here, kids. Little studies. Little, little lesbo family. I mean little because you're younger than me. Especially if you're in high school. You do your stuff this. You're, if you want to hide it, you can. You know what I'm saying? Don't tell a girl that's going to tell everybody. Don't date the girl that's going to tell everybody. You can also deny it. Because had I denied it, I mean, it's not like she would have had me on camera. I kind of made her look stupid. But y'all ever heard that saying, what you know now? You wish you would have known then? That's a real ass statement right there. Mm-hmm. But I know now, I wish I would have known then. I'm like, absolutely not. <laughs> After all that bullshit, I wouldn't do it. Maybe I'm... Okay. I don't know if my story... Mm, my storyline is right on when I got caught with a girl. That had to be after. My parents didn't know. Like when my people in the neighborhood found out, they knew. But we would, we didn't snitch on each other. That wasn't our thing. So my parents didn't know. Um, child, I've been jumped. I got a whole bunch of stories I can tell y'all. Yeah. I got a whole lot of stories I can tell y'all. Yeah. But let me know what y'all want me to eat next time. Let it be healthy. Let me tell you something. Mm -mm. Y'all don't even understand how bad I was hurting today. I felt like my intestine was about to blow the hell up. Like for real. I was going through it. About five hours. I ain't lying. You better thought I was cramping. I have 90, 97% women. That's family over here. So, like, to the four men that's watching, listen. There's a whole women's show, okay? We talk about all the girly stuff over here. <clears throat> Y'all, I had to go. But, listen. Let me know what story time y'all want next, because I got stories for days. And I love to eat, so. Just let me know what you would like to see me eat that's healthy. Perm. Even vegan. I'll even do that. I'm gonna tell you right now, pizza, fried wing, all that shit, pasta. Ooh, y'all understand that pain? Mmm. 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 Bye, y'all. I love y'all. Let me know what story you wanna hear next. She did me dirty. And that's it. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. See y'all next video. Peace out.